welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. I'm Claire Ridgway and I'm the author of, amongst others, this book, On This Day in Tudor History. This is my rather uh, battered copy of it, uh, but that has served as the inspiration for these daily videos where I bring you a Tudor event each day. Now, today I can't really say on this day in Tudor history because the event that happened on this day is actually from the Stuart period, being uh, the 5th of June 1604, but it does involve a Tudor man. For on the 5th of June 1604, Tudor physician and naturalist Thomas Muffet, or Muffet, 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 uh, physician and naturalist died at Wilton in Wiltshire. Now, I love it when I come across uh, these names of people that I don't know anything about, and it always provokes me to digging a bit deeper and finding out just a little bit more about them. That's why I'm such a busy person, because I'm just curious. Uh, so I end up going off at all kinds of tangents when I meet names that uh, you know I've never come across before. Now, Thomas Muffet is known for his 1599 poem, The Silkworms and Their Flies, which he dedicated to Mary Herbert, uh, Countess of Pembroke, who he described as the most renowned patroness and noble nurse of learning. And Mary, um, Mary Herbert, or Mary Sidney, Countess of Pembroke, was known for uh, being acting as a patron to learned people and being a very learned lady herself. Now, Muffet, uh, humbly or perhaps pretending to be humble, describes himself, uh, also in the book which his poem is in, describes himself as a country farmer and an apprentice in physic and states that his poem is for the great benefit and enriching of England, because it's all about silkworms and their virtues and, you know, how good silk is as well, so it's the benefit of England. And I'll give you a link to read The Silkworms and Their Flies, um, which has been described as the first Virgilian Georgic poem in English. Uh, it's impossible for me to share this poem with you um, in this video because it covers 75 pages. It is not a short poem, it is a book. Um, and yes, um, I'd run out of voice after a few pages. But in it, Muffet describes the silkworms that he'd seen on a visit to Italy in 1580. He covers silk and its history, the silkworm's colour, what day of the week they were created, their virtues, their manner of dying, their eggs, how they feed, causes of their sickness, and all sorts of other information on the silkworm. He was obviously very, very taken with the, with the silkworm. And it's all in verse, it's all in the form of a poem. So it's a wildlife book, but in verse. So um, perhaps David Attenborough could try that one day. Oh, that would be fun, sorry. I get silly at times. Now here is one verse, I can stand to read you one verse from uh, the start of book two. It's all in the same book, but it's in part. So this is uh, one verse from the start of book two. This little breed? Nay, even the least of all. The least? Nay, greater than the greatest are. For those show their substance be but small, yet with their worth what great ones may compare. What eggs as these are so much spherical? of all that ever winged natures bear, as though they only had deserved to have the self-same form which God to heavens gave. So you can see how, how passionate he feels about uh, these silkworms, and it, it is quite a wonderful read. I haven't read it from cover to cover, I'm sorry, I haven't read all 75 pages, but I've dipped into it, and I really actually enjoyed it, and I just found it fascinating and rather strange at the same time. Now his observation of the silkworms sparked off an interest in insects and he went on to write a book on the natural history of insects which he dedicated this time to Queen Elizabeth I. It was published posthumously in Latin in 1634 and then later translated into English and published in English. 
Muffet's other works include a treatise on diet and health, a biography of the poet uh, Sir Philip Sidney, and also some medical texts. So he was a published man, he's a, a very learned man. Now, I'll end with just a little bit of trivia about uh, this man, about Muffet. His biographer, Victor Houston, states that it's thought that Muffet's daughter, Patience, was the little Miss Muffet of the famous nursery rhyme. So I just love that because that ties in with Muffet's, uh, you know, his interest, his passion um, about the natural world. And I just love that, that piece of trivia. And I really hope it's true. That just would be wonderful. So there you go, I bought you uh, some, uh, I hope it was some interesting information on a man, Thomas Muffet, that not many people have heard of, but a man who died on this day in Tudor history, not in the uh, Tudor period, but uh, in the Stuart period, but who was uh, a learned Tudor man. Anyway, if you're enjoying these videos, please do give my video a like. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. And as per usual, you can hit the bell to be notified of videos as they go live because they do go live quite regularly, at least once a day. Anyway, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.